it's, it is freaking me out a bit. I'm not feeling that confident right now. You're talking about a rapid inrush of water. You're talking about um, severe disorientation. I have a fear of being submerged in confined spaces. There's no oxygen or air available for you. As you start to submerge, things are going to get dark. I don't know if I want to do this. This is Survival Systems, a highly immersive training program that simulates sea survival scenarios, culminating in a lesson which I sure hope I never have to put into practice, how to survive an aircraft ditching. Being strapped into a seat in an aircraft upside down underwater brings out every primal fear that we have. Folks who haven't done this training before typically have a lot of anxiety. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really looking forward to today. I have a fear of being submerged in confined spaces, so this is definitely testing my comfort zone. What am I gonna be up against today? We're gonna get you upside down in the water and we're gonna teach you how to safely egress a submerged aircraft. I am nervous for the underwater egress portion of this. I want to walk away from this feeling empowered and I want to challenge myself, but I'm, I'm, I don't know how far I'm gonna go. There you go. Wow. You're gonna help each other get into the life raft. <laughs> You made it, nice job. Yeah. <laughs> My mind is distracted right now with what's happening in the present moment, so I'm, I'm trying to stay there. So that was intense. The rain and everything. Because if I jump too far ahead, I, it starts freaking me out. We're gonna simulate a helicopter rescue. A helicopter comes, typically the Coast Guard, and they're gonna um, drop a rescue package down to you. We're going to go to the shallow water egress trainers, and what it's going to enable us to do is work through some of the fundamentals of escaping a submerged aircraft. Ooh. You can do that. Okay. All right? Ashley, are you ready? Keep your eyes closed. Deep breath. Mm -hmm. Ready? Here we go. Ditching, ditching, ditching. Mm -hmm. Which way to go? That's a disorientation. <laughs> Nicely done. Okay. That was, that was easier that. than I thought. Yep. I do feel more confident. Yeah, I definitely was psyching myself out in my head, but once I got in there and, and did it, um, I'm feeling much better about it. But moving forward, that big contraption thing is like, I don't know, it's, it is freaking me out a bit. This particular part of today is what's been bringing up nerves and anxiety and fear. I just, since I was a little girl, I remember when we went to Disneyland, I didn't want to go on the submarine ride and being submerged in contraption, being strapped in, it's it's bringing up a lot of fear for me. I don't know if I want to do this. I have some serious anxiety, I'm not gonna lie. But I want to try and push through that because I feel like if I can persevere, then it will feel empowering. Um, but this contraption getting submerged and flipped over is is freaking me out. Hi. Here we go. Ditching, ditching, experience was overwhelming. There was this voice in me that was like, Ash, you can totally do this. Like, you're physically capable of doing this. It's in your head, it's in your head, it's in your head. So I was just trying to trust my physical ability and try and calm my mind. Awesome job today. Um, it was great to see you work through your anxieties and be successful. You should be pretty proud of yourself. 
Thank you. He really helped me every step of the way. <laughs> <laughs> step by step. Yeah. Actually. Today I definitely pushed myself beyond my comfort zone. I got in here and I was like, I do not want to go in that thing. And now I've come out the other end and I feel comfortable and confident that I could do it again. And so that's definitely pushing beyond my comfort zone.